Oh, that ain't gonna look good. All right. <laughs> Got lost in it. Got lost in it. What's up, y'all? All right. So I'm recording on these headphones. These Beats by Dre. And um, I don't know how it's gonna sound, but I'll worry about that afterwards. And then I'll say, hmm, maybe I'll continue with those headphones and maybe not. But what's good? All right, so this is, I'm just calling this a jam session. I'm doing a lot and I wanna talk a little bit, something low key, a little chill. Got all the plants here, it is Saturday and uh, we're gonna tend to our garden here, all right? Um, what's good, y'all? This is a little jam session. I want to talk post-grad, um, detox update, plants, and life while I tend to and start to water these things. All right. I like this angle. I feel like I'm in like a little like show like, doo -doo 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 -doo. welcome to like, <laughs> everything I do just be like that type of like broadcast show type of thing because that's just like how I came up, but anyway this is orphelia she is so beautiful thank you tavia this was a, a graduation gift um so this current gig that i'm working is a garden center and i take this plant to the garden center i'm like hey y'all got my first little plant they like um yeah <laughs> i was about to say why did you lie about your lipo they was like um yeah that's the hardest of orchid yeah that's the hardest plant that uh you can start off with I'm just like, okay, great. <laughs> what can I do to uh, keep up with it? But this is what I learned so far. They are very low maintenance as far as sun. And just as far as like maintenance goes, they're very low maintenance, but they need a particular type of sun. So what I've been doing every week is watering it. Folks say you put ice cubes. Um, this is like a sort of mulch that I've been putting in. But folks have been saying just do like one or th one to three ice cubes and then that's all the water that it needs like a week. And then every week I've been putting it out on the porch to get like some sunlight. Like this is the most light it's gonna get, something like this. So this Orphelia, I'm gonna put it right over here. All right, and you are now tuned into a jam session while I just talk some shh and uh, tend to my, tend to these plants. Um, I'm gonna move on to this one next, but uh, yeah, post-grad. Oh yeah, this is my uh, bamboo. Bambino. So this is the orchid Orphelia, and this is my bamboo stalk Bambino. And this was a post grad gift too from the library. Shout out to Albert Cook, man. I've already said it on wax so many times, but you know I'll never want to be caught slipping say saying that I love a job. But I already been caught slipping a couple times. All right, so I uh, shout out to y'all. Thank you so much for this gift. We're gonna take good care of it. So this process is called deadheading now for folks who are just wanting to get into gardening or planting and maintaining your plants. This is uh, called deadheading. But even for um, for foliage, you can start to cut off like the dead ends of it. What's that? <laughs> yeah, I'm just tending to it. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> That's my mama, y'all. She just. <laughs> Um, all right, all right. So this don't need too much. I mean, it's not, you know, the worst. I think with this one too, it's kind of low maintenance as far as just um, when, when it comes to sunlight. But yeah, but yeah, a uh, little, little grad gifts. I'm gonna put the grad gifts up here. Oh, no, you gonna block my, all right, I like it right there. So there go Bambino and here go Orphelia. Y'all chilling. Um, this plant is Kai's, Kai. When you come back, come pick up your plant. But in the meantime, I'm taking care of her. I think it's a her. They them? All right, look. I read the card that it needs uh, to be a little, the soil needs to be moist. But yeah. Oh, this was a grad present too. All right, so that's a good segue to go into post-grad. Y'all, post-grad. Post-grad life is like, PTSD and like I'm not saying that to be necessarily too funny but like I'm just getting flashbacks like I've been in the war all right so again this is deadheading I'm deadheading again I feel like I'm in the show welcome to Jam's Garden <laughs> but I'm um, sitting here talking about I'm gonna call this a jam session sitting here talking about post-grad right now and yeah I feel like you know just having flashbacks and memories and like 
you know, naturally we're inclined to with our minds to make sense out of things, like um, derive meaning from our experiences. And, you know, as much as I'm trying to move forward, I think a part of that is just acknowledging what it is that I've just been through. And particularly, you know, a shout out to all my grads, you know what I mean? Shout out to them scholars, booster, scholar, and a pole dancer. All of y'all. But um, just making sense out of what I just experienced. One of the biggest things that I, like have been thinking about which is like this is my hometown like Towson is my hometown so to like make it here and to graduate from here is is huge for me in that regard because it's like first of all there's not a lot of like you know unless you grow up in like a highly populated um dense sort of city town you know that you know going to school you really go to school outside of your hometown so to to graduate from my hometown um it feels big it feels like a big a big deal for me and uh, particularly with this program having left and con and came back and knowing that if this was 2020, I would not have walked the stage. I would not have bought that regalia. I would not have um, put on in that regard as far as what was able to be experienced in 2024. And uh, the folks that I met, bro, like, and that I'm continuing to keep up with, like, it feels like what undergrad could have been had I just, like, not been on my bullshit yeah you know what i mean you know what i mean and that's just a personal thing for me you know like we we make our situations where we want to make them but it does i had that feeling today and looking back at the jaguar um kind of little promo videos that i had put up i was looking like bro this is like some real like did this in undergrad type of thing but it still has that fresh energy and i'm just thinking like now this has a really fresh energy to it as far as what i just experienced and like the folks that i reconciled with and the new opportunities I was able to experience. So it's like, I'm like mentally fatigued and physically fatigued, but not like, I'm like, damn, like I'm kind of tired. And I think learning to be okay with being a little tired is new for me. Like, I'm just a little tired. That's all right. You know what I mean? We're still moving forward. Not trying to reflect and reminisce on woulda, coulda, shoulda. All right, so this, is that a, um, hold on. Okay, so. So I think the variety is Ayako. This is for this one. Ayako, Ayako. And it says to keep soil mo moist and to check it daily. Oh, it just say one time a week. Oh, okay. So I wasn't doing it too wrong. I wasn't too off. But yeah, post-grad is like knowing that I did something in the world and it has a meaning to it, but then realizing like, and I... I don't want to reveal too much because that's what the scholarship Shanghai, the Institute Pursuit 2, is going to be about. Like, all right, I did all of that. You gra Now that you graduated, what you going to do? I told him I'm going to shoot. Like, now that I graduated, what am I going to do? And realizing that, like, all right, got to get into it. Like, realizing that post-Civil Civil Rights Act, post-Civil Rights Act, where folks who look like me could get access into these schools, they changed the whole curriculum up. They changed the whole template up. So you don't, you're not getting sponsored to go to school to be the next Galileo, to be the next Einstein. You're going to school and you're lucky, this is what they're saying, you're lucky to even be in our buildings and learning these curriculums and passing you on like an assembly line. You're learning someone else's template so that you can go in the world and be our versions of psychologists and our versions of sociologists. Whereas like on one hand, all right, I have access to the world, but on the other hand, where's my mind at? Where's my money at? <laughs> and that's what the scholarship Shanghai is all about. All right, wash that. Wash. That's a little improv. Um, wash. Little improv technique. I'm going to wash it. All right. So here's another plan. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. I'm getting all, getting all buzzed. Getting all buzzed. What's going on, y'all? This is a little jam session. What's up, Will? What'd you say? Plants. No, hella plants. All right, post-grad plant. Need to take care of something. You feel responsible for something. And um, we're in our plant, plant zaddy era. Plant zaddy era, but I'm sitting here talking shit while also keeping up with these plants. Um, damn, it got wet <laughs> real fast. You know, oh, I got some, um, I think this is Colia, so I'm moving around. All right, oh yeah, and I'm also gonna move around and talk about detox. All right, y'all, like, first of all, <laughs> Like, I've been really into my insights. A part of, like, broadcast and, like, broadcasting oneself is also being on the, like, savvy kind of business side of things. Also, I want to see if I can deadhead something else on here, but I don't think so. Um, 
And with that detox video, like, first of all, just like word of mouth, folks just being like, boy, put your clothes back on. Or like even, <laughs> even Leek, who was like, oh, uh, you know, like <laughs> making fun of like the video. And you know, when I take my clothes off on camera, it's a public service. All right. <laughs> but uh, since that video and, and shout out to everyone who left really, really good insight, you know, like. This was already what we was going to be on in the first place. But to, again, like, how can we create public discourse through social media instead of, like, talking about whatever is, like, fake trending? How can we get ourselves to trend in the buzz in our communities and our local niche uh, internet communities as well? Hold on, let me get a little more wild in this. This could use a little deadhead. So, move, Ophelia, you had your time. You had your time as pretty as you are, Bambino. This is the, uh, this is Grandma's, Grandma's Coleus. I wanted to call it Geranium. This is Grandma's Coleus. Shout out to Kai's mom, Joanne, for gifting. I got a lot of plants for graduation. A lot of responsibility. All right, all right. Thank y'all. Thank you to everybody. So this is a process called deadheading, where you just take something, you know, like the dead leaves or the dead foliage and just snip, snip, ho. And again, what I learned recently was like around this time, like that three month season from the start of spring to right now where we are, you're gonna find like a lot of, you know, this is time to get that little haircuts, little plants to get their haircuts, let new flowers bloom and buzz, boom, bloom, bud, all of that, all of that. All of that being used as an allegory to what we can do internally and how we can reassess. And this is like a huge part of like, even what this jam session is right now and this era that I'm in as far as like, and observing and witnessing like we all have our seasons you know what i mean and it's important to get in touch with your season now it can be a little tricky based on what um ideology you're picking up on but essentially all it comes down to is like when it's time to uh and when it's time to uh it's time to make hits and it's time to diss it's time for peace and it's time for war um and more so honoring that and valuing that more so is what i should say you know valuing the time to lay back you better lay low mm -hmm. so i'm just dead heading what you want to do is like snip it from the, get at the stem. It's okay, you know what I mean? It's okay to do a little shedding. All right, so this is nice and watered. One more little, because this could actually look cool too. Let me see how it look, what it look like. Okay. Look at this. Ooh, drip. <laughs> Ooh, it's real wet on here. What time is it? 11.43? All right. I'm going to finish this up and wrap this up. Detox, that's where I was. Detox is going really, really well. All right. Oh, let me put some powder in here. Yeah. Detox is going so well, y'all. Like, that liquor and that bread. I'm like, whew. Withdrawal. Oh. Now, this could happen when, you know, you do are celebrated. But most, more particularly, too, with folks um, who've been on their weight loss journey, just trying to change their life in that regard. Like, when you do find yourself, and I found myself, like, shaking and really, like, hangry. I was so angry because I started to implement, all right, I'm going to eat less this night. Like, it was like a week after all the parties, all the celebrations. Bro, we went to, I had Korean barbecue. Then I went to this, like, midnight breakfast type joint. Then I had the, like, actual graduation day and eating. And then I had, like, one more that came afterwards. And then it was, like, five, four, five, five parties. But on the day that I started the detox, like, I got really, really hungry at night. And I was so angry. I was just like shaking i'm like what is wrong with me and that was like that withdrawal from that liquor and that bread so trust me i get it y'all trust me i get it and what i can say right now and shout out to leek who asked me to make a video about weight loss detox my journey but even before i get into that bag and hop into that algorithm it's just something I've always naturally been on like my journey I've been on it for a long time so for it to actually click and for folks to be like oh noticing and whatnot that's important and I want to make sure that you know I'm not necessarily selling a product I guess if anything it'll be like consultations but what I'm doing is um, I want to test it on myself first so like I've been at this for a long time and seeing what works what do what doesn't trying to debunk um, trying to debunk what um you know, like the fads and folks who are really trying to push and sell something. I'm not necessarily trying to sell something that you recurrently come back to. Like, this ain't no, like, trap house. Like, I give you the product, you go on, do your own thing. But what I can say, and then I'll make this into a video another time, is water retention. That's a biggest, one of the biggest kind of um, taboos or myths 
especially when folks are starting to get on their weight loss journey or just a cleanse or a detox in general, you'll hear folks say, drink more water or drink more liquids. <clears throat> no, 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 no. That's how they get you. Water weight will swell you up quicker than it'll swell you up. Water will swell you up. Liquids will swell you up. We do not need that much water. Now, look at these plants. Like, take this for an example. See? Take this for an example. On one of these labels for one of these plants, it say water one time a week. Now, we get thirsty, and you know, we ain't no plants. We, we are multi-living organisms with this human body. So some of our cells and some of us need more, depending on what we do for work, depending on what we do for hobbies. Some of us need more water. But that idea that you need to drink like gallons and gallons of water, especially that's what they try to tell you when you're on your weight loss journey. You find yourself, hey, I'm drinking all this water, but while I'm still feeling, yeah, water retention. All right, dandelion root, apple cider vinegar. And also only drink, so those are herbs and supplements that you can utilize to help take all that water out. But third what you can do just on a regular basis without having to buy anything is only drinking when you're thirsty like we all get our you know thirst quench get your thirst quench it goes some people day get your thirst quench. so only drinking when you're thirsty and that can that can probably happen multiple times throughout the day but don't you know that time you like you just drinking and then you try to do that and then and then people be on that weight loss and like yeah girl i'm drinking all this water i'm trying to look no that water is not going to help you lose weight you're gonna retain that. So in order to combat that, what you can do is only drink when you're thirsty. And then if you do wanna uh, have any kind of, I wanted to say enhancers, but supplements or herbs, dandelion root, um, apple cider vinegar, and diuretics, like a diuretic, like a anti-bloat. Now I got, I got hip to diuretics, um, when I was traveling, when I first studied studied the bar in South Africa, and that helped me. Like me, I I deal with inflammation, even when I'm stressed out, inflamed. So that has helped me to combat inflammation. Um, but then water rate too. And if you're just getting started, do like a pill every other day. It's a little capsule. It's a little capsule. So yeah, that's gonna be my first little, and that's that's a part of my detox regimen too. Is just to get rid of all of that. Um, like the liquid and that's what's helped me very recently too like within the last six months to get rid of that last little like water weight and not realizing i was carrying nothing around for a long time but yeah that's a little jam session while i um you know tend to my plant tend to my garden tend to my mind and uh it's 11 48 i'm about to head over to um the inner child healing and art workshop that's also going down on instagram live and um i want to make sure that I'm pulling this up right. Oh yeah, she good. Oh, she real good. Look at the root. All right, make sure I get that right in there because we're gonna put you in a new. This is called Grandma's Codius. Look at this, a baby. It's a baby. So yeah, just a little jam session while I talk a little, sh reflect a little bit. You know, today's one of those days. Saturday, basically. Is that time in that day in that place to do so? Damn, I got my hands dirty and I gotta turn off this live. Well, all right, I think that's my sign. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, just a little, you know, a little jam session. Not necessarily a broadcast, but, you know, a little lifestyle vlog. We on our off season, low key, a little off. I ain't off key though, you know what I mean? Um, but I might get into this a little bit more throughout the season and uh, shout y'all out. Um, I had this thought, y'all yeah, don't laugh at me, but like, what what y'all think about the name My Boomers? <laughs> Alright, Jammies. <laughs> Alright, y'all, don't don't hate me. Alright, Jammies, we out. See, and, and I'm in my Jammies. Ah! Alright, I'm out. Bye, y'all. Snip, snip, ho. Oh, ah!